Monica Garreter born in Rome on January 5, 1958. She is an Italian theater, film, and television actress. Active mainly in the theater, since she made her debut in Milan at the age of 16 under the direction of Giorgio Streller, she formed an artistic and sentimental partnership for about 20 years with the director Gabriele Lavia with whom she represented, on stage and on film. Alongside her theatrical career, she also continued her television and film career. In 1976 she was alongside Marcello Mastroianni in the film Signori Signori, Buona Not. In 1977 she was the protagonist of the first tricolor drama, Main in Lescott. At the cinema, she plays four erotic films from 1984 to 1986, which consecrate her as a sex symbol of Italian cinema. Then she serves as co-starred with Laura Antonelli and Veneziana of Moro Bolognini 1986, these are my top 10 movies for Monica Garreter. At number 10. The Worst Week of My Life, 2011. Paolo is an advertising agent of Milan who is madly in love with the rich Margarita, of a wealthy family. The two decide to get married, and a week before the wedding, Paolo is invited by the parents and relatives of Margarita. They just want to know Paolo, as Margarita has spoken so highly of him. Paolo, however, proves to be very clumsy and awkward, resulting in catastrophic and extremely embarrassing situations. The troubles in the family also increase when Ivano, the best man of Paolo, comes to the parental home of Margarita. At number 9. The Hurried Man, 1977. Pierre Niu is a charming wealthy self-made dealer of arts and antiques, who lives in a hurry without spending time. When he buys a disputed house in the country, the daughter of the former owner, Edwidge, meets him in a judicial contest and ends getting married to him. Pierre has a serious beginning of a heart attack, but he is disputing an expensive and rare Etruscan vase and does not pay much attention to his doctor. Meanwhile, Edwidge gets pregnant, and although loving him, she leaves home and hides from Pierre, who wants to anticipate her delivery in order to not waste nine months. Will he get the vase? At number 8. The First Time on the Grass, 1974. The First Time on the Grass is a 1974 Italian drama film directed by Gianluigi Calderon. It was entered into the 25th Berlin International Film Festival. An adolescent boy, Mark Lester, and girl, Monica Garatori, meet at a rural, turn-of-the-century Austrian resort, where they are vacationing with their respective liberal-minded, single parents, Claudio Casanelli and Anne Haywood. At number 7. Tell No One, 2012. Matcha is a homosexual guy from Rome, the lover of a young Spanish student named Edward. He cannot tell his parents about his love affair because of their very conservative opinions and the particular situation in Rome, everyone Matcha meets in the city hates gay people and condemns them as unclean beings. Matcha plans to secretly run away with Edward while telling his parents that he intends to leave Italy in order to find work. Matcha's plan seems to work, but the troubles begin when he discovers that Edward is coming to Italy in order to meet Matcha's parents. At number 6. My Big Gay Italian Wedding, 2018. Antonio's finally found the love of his life, Paolo, with whom he lives happily in Berlin. Even if still not sure about their family's reactions, they decide to get married in Italy, in the small village from where Antonio's parents live. In this merry movie of matrimony, happily engaged Antonio brings his fiancée Paolo to the exquisite old Italian village of his birth to meet his headstrong parents and reveal his sexuality, setting out on a quest to make a city founded on religious tradition, understand that love is love. At number 5. Femina, 1998. Married and the mother of a six-year-old girl, Sylvia leads an apparently peaceful life. Her husband does a job that she doesn't know well, but that doesn't bother her too much. She spends her days lazily, until one morning, in a crowded bar, a young man spills her on her coffee blouse. The young man apologizes, tries to fix it, and Sylvia suddenly feels an attraction, which she had long lost the memory of, a sensation she had not experienced for years. At number 4. La Lupa, 1996. La Lupa is a 1996 Italian drama film directed by Gabriele Lavia. It is based on the novella with the same name by Giovanni Verga. She was tall, dark, and thin, with a proud and voluptuous bust. They called her the She-Wolf because she seemed never to be satisfied. All the men were obsessed with her, but one day the She-Wolf fell madly in love with young Nanny. At number 3. Amber, 1980. The story starts with Lou Castle wandering around some Italian town, trying to work up the courage to kill himself. 
why he's doing this isn't immediately apparent, but we do know it's got something to do with a girl called Monica. This Monica in question, via flashback, is pretty enigmatic herself, as we see her move into a strange old attic room that used to be occupied by an even stranger old man. Monica also gets to meet Castle, and the two of them eventually hit it off, but Monica's weird past comes back to haunt her, and various characters are sent off on miserable trajectories before the downbeat ending to an already pretty downbeat film. At number 2. Evil Senses, 1986. Evil Senses is a 1986 Italian erotic thriller film written and directed by Gabrielle Lavia and starring Monica Garreter, the same Lavia, and Mimsy Farmer. Manuel, a professional hitman, kills the hitman sent to kill him and steals his briefcase, only to find that it contains documents concerning a blackmail operation. He then travels to Italy, seeks refuge in a bordello, and falls for the lovely Vittoria. At number 1. The Dark Side of Love, 1984. The Dark Side of Love is a 1984 Italian erotic romantic drama film written and directed by Salvador Samperi. The film, which has a scabrous main theme as incest between a sister and a porn-obsessed brother, was a box office success. Patrizia tries to hide a dark secret, her brother Emilio is in love with her, and she enjoys telling him about her sexual escapades with other men. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.